afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Saturday, September the 8th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 42, Job chapter 22, verse 1 to 4, and verses 21 through chapter 23, verse 7, and the Song of Mary. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Like the deer that runs for yearns for running water, so my soul yearns for you. Alleluia. Psalm 42. Like the deer that yearns for running water, so my soul yearns for you. My soul thirsts for you, O God of my life. When may I enter and see your face? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into your house amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise yet again my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of the waters your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day you will send forth loving kindness, and by night I will sing to you. I praise you, O God of my life. I say to you, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise yet again my Savior and my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, like the deer that yearns for running water, so my soul yearns for you. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Job, chapter 22, beginning at verse 1. Then Eliphaz, the Temanite, said, Can a mortal be of use to God? Can even the wisest be of service to him? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty if you are righteous? Or is it gain to him if you make your ways blameless? Is it for your piety that he reproves you and enters into judgment with you? Agree with God and be at peace. In this way, goodwill come to you. Receive instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. If you remove unrighteousness from your tents, if you treat gold like dust and gold of Ophir like the stones of the torrent bed, and if the Almighty is your gold and your precious silver, then you will delight yourself in your Almighty and lift up your face to God. You will pray to him and he will hear you and you will pay your vows. You will decide on a matter and it will be established for you and light will shine on your ways. When others are humiliated, you say it is pride for he saves the humble. He will deliver even those who are guilty. They will escape because of the cleanness of your hands. And Job said, Today also my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come into his dwelling. I would lay my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn what he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he contend with me in the greatness of his power? 
no, but he would heed me. There an upright person could reason with him, and I should be acquitted forever by my judge. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Alleluia. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. And from this day, all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm, and you have scattered the proud in their conceit. You cast down the mighty from their thrones, and you have lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.